Okay, Gavin, Claire Jane, great job getting ready this morning. Gavin, I'm sorry I got frustrated with you when you, um, you know, weren't coming as quickly as I wanted. I brought you to the bus stop early this morning because I have something very important to tell you. Um, yeah. Something extremely unthinkable and tragic happened last night. Do you know what it is? I do, but I'm not sure Claire Jane does. You want to tell us, Gavin? Do you know Clara Jane? Yeah, what do you think happened? No, I don't know. You don't want to say it out loud? I know. What do you think happened, Gab? The, the psychopath cheese it one. <laughs> the psychopath cheese it one. The, 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 the nomination for president of the United States of America, which is in fact the biggest country, the most powerful country in the planet. And, um, it's uh, pretty much a worst case scenario. And there's a lot of moms and dads wondering what they're gonna say to their children this morning about the fact that we have a leader in place who is a, the opposite of a good role model on how to treat people in the world, okay? So here's what I wanna say to you guys. Sometimes adults are wrong. Okay? And sometimes the government is bad. Yeah. And all we can do is the best that we can do. It's a very important quote by an amazing man named Arthur Ashe that says, start where you are, do what you can, use what you have. Okay? And Gavin, do you remember what I told you last night? Yeah. What this means? It's our job to continue to be the best people that we can be in the planet. Is who's okay. Um, hi, Jess. Yeah. Yep. So our job is to, it's, it's, we have even greater responsibility to be our best selves in the world. And that means respecting everybody the best we can, including the people that were so ignorant and fearful that they would nominate this terrible person with no moral compass to uh, our position of leadership. Do you understand? And, and I'm so proud of how you guys have learned to get along a lot and to resolve your conflicts with respect lately. Have you noticed that? I, I try not to point it out because I don't want you guys to feel self-conscious, but I am so proud of how you treat each other and how you get along with each other because it starts here. Okay? And I'm your mom. I'm going to be wrong sometimes, but I do the best that I can. Okay? And that, so you have to follow my leadership because I'm doing the best. And we may have to follow this horrible person's leadership and just hope that nobody, well, anyway, that we don't want his, his vice president. Why do you have to follow your leadership? Why do you have to follow daddy's leadership? It's both because we're both your parents. Gavin, so an example of being a, a wonderful, thoughtful person in the world is, do you remember the last thing you said to me before we got on the video? What? About your piece of leftover Halloween candy? Do you remember what you said to me? Yeah. Can you say it? You say it. Okay, you told me that instead of eating your Milky Way right now, you're going to save it for Ty, our favorite bus driver in the world. And if he doesn't want it, then you'll eat it. Yeah? That's what I'm talking about. That's thoughtful. All right, so we respect everybody, and we respect ourselves, and that's the best we can do right now, okay? And I love you, and I'm very so, so sorry that this happened. And you know what? I'm so proud of what you guys did in Philadelphia this summer. And Clara Jane, remember what we chanted a lot in Philadelphia? Remember? Trump beats Hillary. Bernie beats Trump. Remember that? That was true. We were right. Bernie would have beat Trump. Hillary took an action and uh, did not beat Trump. Do you guys have any other questions? Oh, there's one other thing. See this right here? See this here? Do you know what this is about? This is a part of the country where the government is trying to take away water from Native Americans in order to put oil pipeline there. And even though I've been supporting things on Facebook, there's more that I can do. There's 10 steps that we can take to support the water defenders and try to prevent this oil 
fuel flowing through. And Gavin, you know that we need to get off of fossil fuels and go towards renewable energy if you're going to grow up and have a planet, right? So I hope that you can help remind me and ask me every day if I did, took one step to help make the world better, okay? And for these 10 days, I'm going to do one um, of the 10 steps um, to help the water defenders in South Dakota. And anything else you guys want to do to help um, make the country better, you let me know. We start right here with our local government. We go right to our city hall, talk to Ms. Simmons, our mayor. You know what? She's a grandma at your school. Our own mayor. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm really proud of you and, um, and, uh, and what you bring to the world. All right. <laughs> Andrew Bogman, you are awesome. We will be okay. We will stand up for each other. Yes, you're right all along. Oh, about Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Where is Bernie Sanders right now? I really would like to see him. Oh, you know what? Me and Daddy are going to see him this weekend. Yeah, Daddy and I live. Yeah, Daddy and I have a date for the first time this month. And the bus is here. I love you. Bye. Have a great day. Bye, Claire Jane. How oh, dare What? What? Kiss you on live? No. What did I do? Oh, so you want to see Bernie Sanders too? Yeah.